Hey everybody, this is Ray from ClampPlus.com. I just wanted to show you a quick video for the Carlane series clamps. Um, basically these are solid arm toggle clamps. You have four vertical series toggles clamps. This is a horizontal handle because the handle is horizontal. This is a 300 solid arm horizontal toggle clamp, very small clamp. This is a uh, 350 vertical handle because the handle is in a vertical position. This is the 550, this is the 750, and this is the 950 series. Um, they kind of go from smallest to largest. Basically, what they have is they have this in a U shape here, and they call this the uh, bolt retainer. And when you take and you put this on, this device on, you normally end up uh, welding it on and you have a nut on the top and the bottom and I'll show you with this one right here. This is threaded rod and it has rubber on the end. Um, this is an accessory that you get. Normally you end up getting a jam nut. And then you have the, of course the bolt retainer. Put him on like so. And then you put your other jam nut on the top. What then you have to do is you have to then put this and align this both in the up and down and then the front and back um, and get it in position then you weld it on the side here and weld it on the side here oh I'm sorry I had a little bit too high for the video um, what you normally have to do is you have to end up aligning it and then you have to weld on this side and you have to weld on this side um, I have a destaco clamp it kinda already has one tacked in position and I'll kinda show you with that one let me take this back out of here again. I'll set this here. Get this out of the way. But what you'll have is basically you'll just do a weld on this side and a weld on this side. Now, some people, what they'll do is they'll cheat, okay? And they'll put just a little tack right up here. And what you're able to do with that is you're able to take and adjust it up and down. And then you use this to tighten up. But what happens is you have this extra thread that sticks out the top. Well, you say, well, let's just cut it off. Well, if you cut it off, you only have from the top of here to the bottom of here in the adjustment before this falls out. So it's why some people leave it on. When you leave it on and you get weld spatter built up right here and you get weld spatter on here, well, then you can't get that off. And some guys, they actually have to cut them off. It takes a little while to go get an extension cord and a grinder and et cetera, et cetera. So we'll get them and they're kind of just a pain in the rear end. What we have done is we have changed this device right here. And we have made it threaded as opposed to not threaded. And you weld it on. And you can do a couple other things with it that you can't do with this one. And let me move this out of the way again. And basically they're very easy to install, very easy to put on. Um, the difference between the color is of course metric and English. This series in the silver is the English. And you have, once again, you have the quarter, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, half inch, 5 eighths. And then you have the metric, which is an M6, M8, M10, M12, and M16. So if your shop deals in metric, you'd use the goldish colored. If you deal in English, the silver color. And they also, they have their marking stamped on the side, quarter 20 pen pending on the side. But to put these on um, is relatively easy. Uh, just use this little uh, 350 right here. Basically what you can do is you can just take and put it over to the edge of the table. Um, steel table preferably, don't burn this up. And then basically you can just put him on like so. And then you put a tack here and a tack here and you weld it on. Um, once you weld that on, it really makes the clamp very clean. And I'll grab this one here because this is very large. You can kind of actually see uh, this welded in this here, sorry about this being a Desteco, it should be <laughs> Carlene. Um, but once you, you weld them on, then you can take and you can adjust this. You can loosen this jam nut and you can adjust it up or down where you want it. Get it to the spot you want. And then if you have extra threads that come through, well then you can cut those off. You don't have to, but I like to cut them off. There's a reason why I like to cut them off. A um, couple reasons, in the manual operation, when you go to open up this clamp really fast and you crack it one right with your hand and open it up, if you have this one right here with the extra threads and you do that, that comes back and cracks you right in the back of the hand. Well, if you don't have those there, this is kind of what you end up with. 
This is the extra room that you get. You get a considerable amount of room that you don't get hit in the back of the hand here. Also changing them uh, when these things do burn up, and they will burn up, uh, especially in the welding environment. Um, you can take and uh, change them out because you just loosen this. They just come right on out, put another one in, tighten it up, and then cut it off and you're off and running. Um, the other thing that's really kind of clever and kind of cool, if you are worried about them vibrating out, you can put in, you can put in a lock washer right here. So you can put a lock washer because this is a flat surface. Um, also, the alignment. Um, they're not loose. They stay very tight and they stay on in the alignment very, very well. They're very accurate uh, because they're welded on there. The other thing that's really kind of nice is being able to use whether it's uh, a rubber on the end or a carriage bolt. So you can use a, a regular bolt, uh, you can use the rubber. Uh, when you see red, uh, that's normally uh, metric. When you see um, black, that's normally uh, English. So, but for these series of clamps, you just basically, you could add these on like so. That's how easy they fit right on and you can weld them right on. This is a bolt. Uh, as you get into the larger ones, you might want a bolt because they're I mean, they're very rugged and very strong. Um, just apply them like so, weld them on, and, and you're done. You end up having clamps that look like this. The other neat thing about these is when you go to, say your clamp is starting to wear out, it's starting to move around so much, um, I've left these long enough for you that you can actually cut them off and cut them off, and then you can apply them onto another clamp. You can reuse them. Don't throw them out. Uh, I use them, you know, maybe two to three times as compared to a clamp because uh, clamps will wear out. This one here has gone through thousands and thousands of cycles. And as you see, it, they, they do get loose over time, but they still are, are functional. Oop, hit me in the back of the hand. That hurts. That's one of the reasons why we get rid of those things. But in a nutshell, that's kind of what we do and, and how we're improving um, the toggle clamps in a welding environment, an assembly environment, um, check fixtures. Um, I use these things everywhere. Uh, and uh, watch for another video. I'll have another one that will actually show uh, some of these clamps in on a welding fixture um, and show them right in use. And uh, you can really see them up close and personal how they actually uh, work for me. And I hope they work for you. Thank you very much.